tanks. I mean, definitely one of our best oils is coconut oil. You know why? Because coconut grows right here in Jamaica. You could just grater it, you know, and squeeze out the milk, you know, put it in the sun, you know, you're going to get oil. You boil it down, you're going to get oil. So the best oil for you is the one that you could do yourself naturally without using any kind of solvents to actually extract it. If you take a cabbage or you take um, um, corn, you know, you know how, how, what, how are you going to get oil, oil from corn and, and, and oil from soya and oil from all these different type of things? You have to go through a synthetic organic, some kind of solvent extraction. You have to use some kind of chemical to draw out, to make some type of thing happen. Canola is nothing that grows in the wild. It is all these things that are genetically modified. You know, so most of these oils there, you know, when you go to the source of it, these things there are very dangerous. You know, so we don't support these things. The best oils, you know, is your palm oils, right? You like the red palm oil, the African palm oil. That's a very potent oil. It contains the highest level of retinol and retinol. I remember when I was in medical school in Cuba, you know, I used to wear glasses. And I met this brother from Guinea-Bissau who had some, some real organic ital um, palm oil that, that, that his mother and them made because they would make it in the village, right? And I used that for about a, a strong in my food. That was probably 2001, 2002. Up to a day like today, I don't wear glasses, you know? And it is something I consumed. So we must understand that your food is your medicine. So even the oil that you use, some of these oils there, man, they do not even fit to go to rub even your flaws with because they'll get into your physical structure. You don't put them on your skin, you know? So the best oils for us is like, you know, avocado oil, you know, coconut oil, palm oil, you know? And if we had some um, olives grown in Jamaica, I'd tell you olive oil, you know? But because of what you have here, you use what you have. And since, you know, you have ganja and ganja decriminalized, you could go into some hemp oil, you know? And you have to look at for, for what you call heat stable oils because not every oil you could heat and you could fry you know so the coconut oil and the palm oils they have a higher stability when it comes to the heat you know and i would stick to them because these things are indigenous to us well let me hear you say mountain, mountain.